caused by the smallest of components? The component in question is called the O-ring. What are the characteristics of the O-ring? O-rings are defined by their O-shape. They are rotation symmetric and have a circular cross-section. O-rings work, and how are they installed? O-rings are used between two components. They can be used as primary seals or energizing elements. At first, you're going to learn how an O-ring works as a primary seal. Are you ready? Click on the next button to continue. If the O-ring is used as the primary seal, it has the main sealing function in the application. As an O-ring is self-acting, it is functional immediately after installation. No system pressure or speed is required. Furthermore, the O-ring is double acting. That means the O-ring can seal in two directions. In order to achieve leak tightness, an O-ring always must be compressed. This is called the initial compression and results in the initial sealing force. The initial compression enables the elastomeric O-ring to adapt to the mating surface and compensates for production tolerances. Thus, it is essential for the sealing function of an O-ring. The leak tightness of the O-ring increases when under system pressure, which leads to the total sealing force. Click on the buttons to see this principle in action. Is the O-ring is predominantly used in static sealing applications. Generally, the direction of the sealing force defines the O-ring's mode of application, either axial or radial. In this chapter, you are going to learn about the different types of sealing applications O-rings can be used for. Are you ready? Click on the next. If the O-ring is used as an axial seal. The sealing surfaces are at the top and bottom of the O-ring. The O-ring seals in axial direction in flanges and cover plates, etc. In axial sealing applications, the direction of pressure is important for a proper O-ring layout. Internal or external pressure is simply equivalent to a pressure difference between the inside and the outside of the axial seal housing. Click on the tabs for detailed information about this differentiation. In this example, the O-ring works as an axial seal with internal pressure. In this application, the O-ring works as an axial seal with external pressure. If the O-ring is used as a radial seal, the sealing surfaces are at the inside and outside diameters of the O-ring. The O-ring is then used as a piston or rod seal. For radial sealing applications, we distinguish between the inner and the outer sealing. Click on the tabs for detailed information on this differentiation. If the O-ring is used as a rod seal, 
The O-ring is placed in a groove in the bore, and the sealing surface is at the inside diameter of the O-ring. If the O-ring is used as a piston seal, the O-ring is placed in a groove on the rod, and the sealing surface is at the outside diameter of the O-ring. Depending on whether the components are moving or not, the O-ring works as a dynamic or static seal. Click on the pictures to learn more about the differences between static and dynamic sealing. Static sealing, as seen on the previous pages, is the most common field of application for O-rings. Here, the contact area of the O-ring does not move. O-rings in dynamic applications are recommended only for moderate service conditions. They are limited by the speed, the stroke, and the pressure against which they are sealing. With dynamic sealing, the contact area moves. In the example, the contact area moves in a linear direction. O-rings can also be used as energizing elements. In this case, the O-ring has a static sealing function and provides the necessary initial tension to keep a non-elastic seal in its place. The principal element is a PTFE seal. As PTFE is non-elastic, the function of the O-ring is to give the PTFE seal the necessary initial tension so that its sealing edge is pressed to the counterpart. As you have learned before, O-rings are used in a variety of different technical applications. Each sealing application puts specific requirements on the sealing elements. It is essential to take into consideration both the advantages and disadvantages of the O-rings when assessing its suitability as a sealing element. Click on the tabs for a brief summary of the advantages and disadvantages of elastomeric O-rings. A main characteristic is the simple and compact design of the O-ring. Due to the symmetric profile, the O-ring requires a simple groove design and is relatively easy to be installed. In standard dimensions, the O-ring is an easily available and cost-effective seating element. Besides this, a wide selection of elastomeric materials is available. In order to achieve optimal sealing results and prevent failure, some limitations have to be considered. One aspect is the limited suitability in dynamic applications. The O-ring is not fully recommendable for dynamic applications due to high friction and its tendency to twist. Furthermore, the flash which results from molding may impair the sealing function of sensitive radial sealing applications. Besides, Possible media incompatibilities of elastomers have to be kept in mind. The O-ring is perceived by many as a small black seal that may smell badly. It is therefore often treated with contempt. This perception, though, could not be further from the truth. For each area of application, there is a different engineered O-ring variant. Several important considerations need to be taken into account when choosing an O-ring. There are four aspects to consider when selecting an O-ring. Material, layout, quality, and method of installation. Choosing the right O-ring and housing layout is important to maximize seal life and minimize maintenance costs. Click on each aspect for further information. The choice of material depends on its media compatibility, the application and the technical parameters, such as operating temperature and pressure, or whether the O-ring will be used for static or dynamic sealing, etc. Other important issues to be considered are required standards and approvals.
An O-ring is defined by its inside diameter and cross-section dimensions. Additionally, the layout of the housing needs to be considered regarding initial compression and system pressure. The surface finish of the groove diameter, its side walls, and the mating surface also matter. To ensure correct installation, you must ensure rounded edges or lead-in campers. A set of standards has been established in order to guarantee the consistent quality of O-rings. They define nominal sizes, permitted dimensional tolerances and surface finish, and also give recommendations for the housing layout. These standards vary from one country to another. ISO 3601 is currently the most important international O-ring standard. Wherever applicable, we recommend using this international standard to benefit from globally standardized O-ring dimensions and quality, as well as easy availability. You must take care when installing the O-ring, as the correct installation helps prevent O-ring damage and malfunction. The factors to be considered are the level and speed of stretching, the twisting, which has to be avoided and lubrication of the o-ring as well as the use and design of assembly tools.